Hey guys, this is a quick video about my workflow with the MHW 3 Bomber Shaker and the O70 Test Grinder. Now sorry about the shadows, it's still half five in the morning, it's pretty dark outside. Unfortunately, this is the only time I'm going to get to make videos this week. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this dosing ring and place this around the magnet. Now this allows me to ensure that the shaker is exactly underneath the exit chute and it also raises the height a bit which means the grinds are not flying out everywhere. So I've got 18 grams in. Okay. Now we need to shake for at least 15 seconds and this allows for densification. Effectively, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the grinds uh, to essentially adhere to each other. Okay, now give it a quick tap on the counter. What this means is that you can get the grinds off the walls and also the lid. And get your porter filter. Place the dosing ring on top and the shaker on top of the dosing ring. Now, I do not release the grinds from a height because in my hands it becomes quite messy. Get this out. Now, you can see that the coffee is uh, come, come in a heap. Uh, so what you can do is give it a quick swirl and this flattens the puck. You can see the grinds are quite clumpy. This is very normal. And it makes absolutely zero difference to, to extraction and to your flavors. Now what you can do is you can use a, a WDT tool to level the puck and get rid of the ridge. You don't have to go in very deep. And just for a few seconds. And that's enough. Alternatively, what you could do is you could just give it a tap which means that uh, the, the grinds become more level. There you go. And always use a puck screen.